What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about something that I have gotten a lot of comments and a lot of messages about. My headlight and fairing setup. As most of you know, um, Victoria went through a facelift and color change and I'm absolutely in love with it. It is exactly what I imagined it um, before winter even started. So, right just to get right into it, um, everything that I am going to talk about, I'm going to link down in the description box below, so check that out. First things first, this fairing I actually picked up um, on a Japanese website called Kruber, um, that's with four O's, and they sell a lot of like cars and bike parts, um, mostly used. Um, so I actually picked this up, it was pre-owned. Um, it was actually in really good shape. Um, the plastic windscreen, um, no scratches on it whatsoever. Um, there were a couple blemishes here and there, but I knew I was going to be having the vinyl wrap put over it anyway. So, uh, it just, it was in great shape. It was 70 bucks plus the shipping to my door. Um, it was actually like 150 total. Um, well worth it. Um, came with the mounting hardware on the sides and, um, a mounting hardware, like little bar bracket thing on the bottom. As far as the headlight goes, this headlight is adaptable, which means this right here, these triple um, LEDs right here, those are my low beams. These triple circles are my high beams, and these ladders, you could call them, um, they light up depending on how much I lean. That's The point of that is to uh, light up the inside of the corner in the direction you are turning. Um, I'm going to do a little clip um, of me riding at night so you can kind of get the, the understanding of that and how that works. Okay, so once I turn my key on, the headlight won't actually turn on until I start the engine. So once I start the engine, it'll do a little startup sequence where it'll shuffle from right to left and then back to right. Okay, so as of right now, it has the seek level. So it's lit up on the left side, as you can see. The LED ladders are now climbing down because the headlight is seeking level. Okay, so once the headlight is actually seeked level, if you lean to the right, it lights up to the right. If you lean to the left, it lights up to the left. Back to the right, back to the left, back to the right, back to the left. So, and then what I just found out is if you put your light on bright like I do now, that's bright light, you can see the dot where the bright light is, the beam is at, but it does light up um, the top portion pretty well. But the leaning mechanism does not come into play when the light is on bright and then when you go back to dim then you can go back to using the adaptable headlight if I were to add the halos into that there's the halos as you can see it's lit up the whole like bottom of the corner by the ditches brights dim leaning right leaning left leaning right leaning left and that's with the halos on the headlight I was watching on eBay for like 120 bucks and the seller actually reached out to me and said do you want it for 80 free shipping and I was like hell yeah so bought the headlight for 80 bucks I got the the fairing for 150 and then the headlight bucket that was so it actually didn't come with the bucket I got a gloss black like headlight bucket for um, like 30 bucks I think it was um, and the headlight just mounted right in there it was super easy as far as um, getting it mounted, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but I purchased also on eBay. <laughs> Everything I get <laughs> for my bike, I pretty much get on eBay, but these headlight brackets that uh, the headlight is mounted to uh, is, it's powder coated. I had it powder coated, but they, you pretty much just like send them a message uh, what size your fork is. Um, so in my case, in the just second generation VMAX, the fork size is 52 millimeters. So I just reached out to them and said, hey, can you make me a bracket in 52 millimeter? And they said, yeah, there's no problem. Put the brackets on, mounted the headlight to that. And then I made these two little like aluminum um, tabs that mounted to the bracket. The fairing is actually being held on on both sides. And uh, I drilled a hole in the center beam right here to mount it once more on the bottom just for some extra support. But that fairing is not going anywhere. The headlight is adjusted exactly where I want it. And that's pretty much it as far as the headlight and, and fairing go. I mean, everything's going to be linked down in the description box below if you want to run the same setup I am. As far as 
like dash goes. Um, let me throw a leg over this. And uh, I had my handlebars powder coated. This, this dash plate is actually um, custom made for these bikes. Uh, if you're on the VMAX community like Facebook page, um, one of the admin, his name's Rick, his buddy actually custom makes these for the bike. Four uh, bolts, the aluminum plate, and then some spacers in the back there so you can, so it brings it out a little bit. But um, that was like 70 bucks. Um, I wired in, we'll talk about my switch here in a second. Um, I've got, these are new grips. These are built well thrusters. Um, I just got them on the, the built well site. And then these are just foam grip donuts. You can pretty much get those at any like autumn or like motocross site or store. Um, they're mainly for dirt bikes, but I thought I like the look of them with the blue, the Yamaha blue um, lightning bolts on the side. So I guess if we want to talk about the switch, I have the Mike Kemp Halo kit. And what that does is I've got halos in my scoops and typically they run, it's a plug and play kit. It's about 260, I think, or maybe 280. I, I could be wrong there, but it's around 280 bucks. And um, pretty much when you turn on the key, the halos turn on and you can, set them up to where you when you turn your signal on the halos flash amber in in the direction you're turning i didn't want that personally i wanted the fc10 turn signals um i just i just love the look of them they're really sleek and sexy so i kept those i opted for uh for mike to actually send he actually sent me um custom wiring uh all soldered together perfect everything i needed to just plug and play for my bike and i just bought the switch on online super cheap so when i flip my switch up and turn it on the halos come on i'm sure you guys can see that the halos are super bright at night and uh they light up the ditches very well so there's my there again is my switch you just shut it off um, when you don't want to use them the bike doesn't have to be on flip the switch boom they're on look at that i'm a show pony i'm sure you saw in my previous video that i actually got a new horn um the stock horn was Really small, really dinky, sounded like the Roadrunner, um, just a little meat meat. And I did, for something this big and muscly, I wanted something a little bit more oomph and for people to actually hear me. So I actually um, bought this. It's a six speed automotive horn, and I only bought one. It was like 18 bucks, um, free shipping. Uh, I only needed one. I uh, bought it, it was literally just plugged into the, the, uh, the tabs in the back, uh, mounted it to. Um, the bolt on the side of my radiator cover and it's like way louder than than stock here's a little example yeah it's just it sounds so much better um than the stock horn and i'm really happy with that that's that's my setup everything's going to be linked down in the description if you guys have any uh questions leave them down in the section down below all right thanks for watching guys peace